Hi besties. Thank you for tuning in. And welcome back to our channel. Yeah, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and turn your post notifications on. Especially if you're new here. I see yeah, you watching it. Y'all need to subscribe, okay? Yeah guys, if you are new here, I'm Aisha. And I'm Quaje. And we are so excited to have you here. Today we're gonna do a QA. Yeah, we're gonna do a QA. We are. We threw it up in our Instagram. We did, and we got some questions back. So we're gonna go ahead and address those questions today. We probably don't do Q&As as much as we should because I feel like that gives you guys a better way to get to know us, mm -hmm. but we're gonna work on doing that. <laughs> we actually do that more often. So um, without further ado, I just wanna say Happy New Year's, you Happy guys. Happy New Year. I hope you guys have a beautiful, like healthy, wealthy year. And Full of abundance and protection. And okay. just good health, you know, with everything that's been going on with COVID, like sending out good health to you guys mm -hmm. and good vibes. And without further to do, further to do, <laughs> let's get into these questions. <laughs> the first question that I have here is how did you guys meet? So how did we meet, babe? Um, <laughs> well, we met when we were 19. We met on Twitter. Yeah. Literally. That's basically how you could say that we met on Twitter. Yeah. That's basically how we met. And then I went to see her, and then we met in person. Yo, know, babe just got like it's so dry, babe. a Look tattoo. How dry it is. She's finishing up a tattoo, yeah. and it's like There's the healing process. There's a lot going on. It's really brutal, y'all. I gotta put some. It's the itching for me. Oh it's like the deep tissue itch. Oh like, yeah. I cannot. <laughs> I cannot. Okay. But I but want anyways, so many. Without, without so. me getting sidetracked, I'm sorry. It just, I looked at it because it felt like an alligator. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. Uh, um, so basically, we met on Twitter, you yeah. know, and we were like friends. I don't know. We were just really good friends. We talked all the time. We did. Like, literally talked all the time. We did. Then we exchanged numbers. And she, then she gave me her number first. Yeah, because we were she talking so much that. in the DMs. It was she she so gave funny. me up. She was just kind of like, you know, I'm tired of tweeting you back and forth and DMing you. Let me just give you my number. It's easier. And then she FaceTimed me, which is... Yeah, and I FaceTimed her. Well, we'll tell the whole story for that, but then she FaceTimed me. Yeah. I was not expecting that. I was expecting a, hey, how you doing text? And I was just like, hey. She was like... You FaceTime me. You didn't even call. I said, well, I mean, you know. I was not expecting that. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Next question. Who said I love you first? I think it was you. <laughs> I think what? It was you oh, wait, wait, which time are we talking? Back in the day and recent. I don't remember. It was her both times. <laughs> oh, it was her both was times. Was it really me? But I wanted to say, but she beat me to it because we're like in sync and we always have been like in sync and like intertwined. I don't remember. I guess the way that I remember things is different. <laughs> Are you okay, Noah? Did you hit your head? What's going on? Y'all, our dog. <laughs> <laughs> He was like running and hit his head on his crate. I don't even know how he did that. Are you okay, baby? Are you okay, mijo? Oh, oh, he's dancing. Yeah, I love you guys. I love my kids. <laughs> Our fur babies. I love them. Anyways, so, so it's my turn. Yeah. Okay. Uh, next question. Next question. Okay, let's see. There's so many here, babe. <laughs> <laughs> There's so many questions here. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Why did y'all break up the first time? <laughs> this is petty. Y'all petty, man. <laughs> this is petty. <laughs> we broke up the first time because we did long distance. Mm -hmm. And honestly, it was really hard. I ended up meeting someone else. And I was and in the studio songwriting for like yeah. a major label. So I was like, I ain't have no time for her, myself. It, and, honestly, it was just one of those like bitter moments. Yeah, but we never really broke up. We were just like, 
we just kind of stopped, stopped talking. talking to each other. Yeah, it and was then, weird. Like, I kind of. Then she ventured off, ventured off with her little situation, and then I ended up getting in a little situation, and time passed, and we're right back. Yeah, but yeah. I love Babe, and I'm I couldn't be happier to be where I'm where I am today. Yeah, right. And honestly, I felt like that distance had to happen for us to grow even fonder, like you know, now in this moment in time. I love you. I love you too. You want to kiss me? Is huh? that the heat? No. <laughs> yeah, because the Rihanna and this Fenty child, that heat, it it, it's, it's hot. I was like, this shit, I kissed her. We was like eating sushi or something. I was like, I heard those were like hot. I was like this. Like, babe, what is that? She was like, Fenty, you bought it. And I'm like, I bought that? Damn. I didn't know that that heat your lips up like that. I thought it was just like heat, like the color is vibrant. Like no, flames. it's like it's like but it's like it's literal. Like, it's like literally a stimulant it's a for your lips. Yeah, you know. Okay. <laughs> okay. Next question: Is it true that you do YouTube full time? No. Uh, uh. Uh. No, we don't. Uh. Uh. If we did, we would have been posted way more frequently because we wouldn't need the coin. Okay. Right. But. With work, we have like jobs and babies in school. I have music. We have a lot of things that we have going on. So we have all different types of revenue. So us doing YouTube is because we like genuinely want to do YouTube. It's fun. It's fun. It's fun setting the camera up and like turning your little lighting on and and just talking and connecting with people and making an impact on. And people. just and just being like a dope ass person that someone can vibe with mm -hmm. because there's so many other youtube people that mm -hmm. i watch and i always feel like oh wow i really fuck with them but then i feel like something's missing like and i feel like that's just sometimes that genuineness or that vulnerability mm -hmm. to just be them themselves mm -hmm. is missing mm -hmm. and like sometimes you really like who gives a fuck what anyone thinks like yeah, really it's it's about how you feel and Dude, you can go down the street in a paper bag as long as you're confident and that's what you want to do. Like, who gives a fuck what anyone else watching mm -hmm. or anyone else feels? It's truly about you being authentically you. And and I feel like I struggle to find that in a lot of people. So That's true, babe. It made me want to just <clears throat> start a YouTube and just be me. And you want to know something like living in L.A.? I was in L.A. for like 11 years, you guys. Like, I was there for a very long time. I was out there for three. Yeah, okay, babe. She was out there for like three. <laughs> I but, feel like I earned my L.A. Um, stripes or something. <laughs> but I say that, I bring that up because I was like born and raised in like Palm Springs, California. And that's like a small town. It's a little bigger now. Like, yeah. people know what it is now because of Coachella or whatever, the movies and stuff. True. But growing up in Palm Springs, it was very small and it's almost like a small town. But I honestly, when we went, I had fun, but then I really didn't like. Well, first of all, Baby was like freshly, like. I was injured. Like, she was like starting to walk again yeah. after her injury, so we couldn't even walk the tram. We couldn't even do none of the romantic we stuff. I wanted to go horseback riding in the canyons. I wanted to go yeah, out to the tram. Yeah, y'all know I love horseback riding. We couldn't even do nothing, so Babe couldn't even really like see Palm Springs. And when I say Palm Springs, I'm not talking about Palm Desert, Indio, Cathedral City. I'm talking about Palm Springs, the actual city just yeah. to see what's there and then i was gonna have her venture out to see all the other cool like food spots or whatnot but we didn't get that far y'all but you know what but it's okay. next time next time but and I'm, hopefully we can go when we can actually enjoy yeah right he's at the hotel because yeah we could child not. but anyways I, I mentioned la because it's just like being out there for that long and coming from like a small town you really find yourself out there Unless you get lost in the sauce, because a lot of people get lost in the sauce out there. True. You know, and they give the locals there a really bad rep. Like, the people that I met that are, like, born and raised from there, they're pretty authentic and pretty real. They're really good people, you know? But then you have the outsiders that move, and they come in there, and they make everything seem fucking weird, and True. it's not. True. But I say all of that, long story short, it's just that being out there will really help you find who you are because you'll Truly. see so many different types of people. Truly. You'll find so many different crowds yeah. out there and eventually you'll find your niche, whether that's um, a job, a specific job, like I your gotta take finances, like the financial realm out there for like my nine to five. I discovered that out there even though I went out there for music. Like, I don't know. 
It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Don't limit yourself, you guys. Be yourself. And that's what our platform is about. It's just being yourself and expressing who you are. Being comfortable in your own skin. Like, I'm masculine, but I'm also feminine. <laughs> uh. So we got another question that just came in. What? And the question said, how much do we love Mashiach? We love you. Yeah, we love like, you, girl. There's <laughs> I'm so I thought that there was another question trickling in there. We love you so much that there's not enough love, love. in the word love to, to say to I give to you. you. <laughs> we love you. <laughs> that's so funny. Uh, that's hilarious. Perfect time to say. <laughs> okay, next question. Do you guys see marriage and babies in the foreseeable future? In the foreseeable future? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, for sure. I definitely want to be a wife, mm -hmm. and we definitely have talked about it. <laughs> yeah, I can't <gasps> wait to be Miss Stag. <gasps> oh, I yes. can't wait. We definitely have <laughs> talked about it before. <laughs> so it's gonna be lit. in the works. <laughs> she she laughing because she know. <laughs> she like so, baby. I want babies by this age. Yeah, I do have a time frame. I'm not gonna go over that. Not now. as far as being married, but like not as far as kids. being married, but as far as being kids. You know the biological. As far plot. as having kids, you know, I'm a little older. So she ain't old. I'm not old, but I'm older, and I'm still not ready to have kids right now. That is such a stigma, and I can't stand it. No, because no. there's like 50 year olds that are out here no. popping them out, girl. They popping out I'm twins, not 50, baby. Yes, twins really? and all types. Of I stuff. I'm not saying that I'm old. I don't feel like I'm old. Oh, I just okay. feel like I'm that old. was about to say, girl. No, listen, my point being, baby, is I'm you don't want to wait forever. No, I'm older, and I still don't want to have kids right now. Mm -hmm. So I feel like I need to be older so that I can have, could have kids. Right now I'm just not oh my there, gosh. and I know that that's coming. But my first main thing would be marriage. Okay. <laughs> I definitely want marriage before babies. I just feel like that's just you can call me traditional in that sense. I just feel like that's just I don't know. It's mandatory for me. I want that for my um my kids. So.